Harold's money is our money, but my money is my money. Can what? you imagine the fact that I'm on a higher budget should mean it's actually why, why it's actually the main from, reason why, why you should. Us. <laughs> that's that's, that's even the more reason why I'm your money should be our money because I'm on the higher budget. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Ah, welcome back, guys. We're welcome. David, the Welcoming us back to it. We're coming back to the show. Don't take it out. Let's all be inside. They should let it be inside. Okay, to be your turn. Cheers. 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 We're back to the channel. Um, we've been away for so long. And it's just because Charlie, life has been life in 2023 has been that year that you can literally say you are going to take your bath before you know it. You've ended up in the market mm -hmm. <laughs> because Charlie, this year, bro, it's rough. been hot, very rough, very rough and smooth at the same time. But we thank God for life, you know? right? Yeah. What are you most grateful for? For life, most importantly. Mm. Yeah, you have life, you have everything. Right. So guys, on today's episode, um, we're going to share with you what we've been up to. I know we've been away for so, so long. We promise not to do that again. Um, I've been busy with work, traveling and stuff like that. But yeah, I am back to base and we promise to give you back-to-back -back content. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. So expect the best from the Amethyst. So what have I been up to? Um, so what have, what have we been up to? A so lot. You have been... Process. I think um, after our Dubai trip... Uh, so we went... Let's start from the Dubai. Okay, so... So we went to Dubai. For my August, birthday. For, for my wife's birthday. Guess. Slash honeymoon. So it was a double celebration. Um, it was our, our delayed honeymoon slash my wife's birthday celebration in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. What was, what was, the, best, what was the best thing about our trip to Dubai for you? Lots of fun, so I cannot pinpoint one or two. I mean, just, yeah. just, just, just name, just name. It was all fun. I think the Dubai Mall was more interesting because it's a very big mall. See, oh, she you said the Dubai Mall. You see the women. That is what. That is where they get. They get to swipe their cards and 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 put you in in debt. <laughs> because, I mean, you know, you can enter the mall through here. Uh -huh. You think you are going round, round, round to different zones, but by the time you realize, you are back. <laughs> To where you started uh -huh. and you haven't been anywhere yet yeah, so from yeah. a start point to end at the same start point yeah yes. yeah yeah but yes. starting from the starting from the point starting from a point where you started and coming back means that you haven't explored them all enough you know that's what i'm saying so you have to be strategic <laughs> right. about the about movement. movement and then follow them so mm -hmm. the dubai mall was uh, the dubai mall is i think is the, the largest one of the largest malls in the whole wide world so mm -hmm. um that is definitely an experience worth remembering but you motion, so my wife went to the motion gate. Guess what, guys? A whole theme park where she could do all those amazing things. You know how when you go to the theme park, there are roller coaster rides, all sort of exciting activities to do. She just went there and she sat in one corner you throughout. Guys have to hide. For the whole day, all she did was <laughs> go and sit in one corner because she did just one. I'll show you the video she did. I'll show you the video of the activity that she did. So we set. When we were going, I was laughing, but at the end of the trip... <laughs> well, we sent the video right here, and I'll show you how her face was before we got to Motion Gate, and, and how her face looked after she tried just one roller coaster ride. How do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel? <laughs> so she decided to back off the roller coaster ride, so she didn't have fun. She, I wouldn't say she experienced... I wouldn't say she experienced the motion gate at all because the fun lies in the roller coaster rides. How do you go to a whole theme park and you decide to go and sit in one corner? It was still fun for me to have. So what was fun? What did you do? A lot of things. Like what? Eating I ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so she went to a whole theme park and she ate ice cream for the entire trip there. Right, but um, apart from that, I enjoyed... Oh, but the desert was too hot this time. It was too hot, so we went obviously during the summer in the desert, obviously one of the hottest places even if there's no summer, but this time it was way, way, way hotter than usual. But for me, the highlight of the trip was our visit to Abu Dhabi because 
Um, I've never really done a road trip in yeah. the UAE, so getting to drive, big shouts to our friends, Mr. and Mrs. Gad, and of course, Adansi Travels, Adansi Travels, um, you know, catered for our, our trip, so Adansi Travels, shout outs to you for making us um, enjoy Dubai and Abu Dhabi to the max, and of course, Mr. and Mrs. Gad, who drove us all the way to Abu Dhabi, we had so much fun, mm -hmm. and then we came back, then I went to Turkey for yes, my hair transplant, out. so guys, look out for my hair transplant video, it's coming up right here on this channel, I'll you know, I know there's been so many questions from my social media um, concerning my hair transplant and I'm going to answer them all. We're going to do a, like a proper diving into my hair transplant journey. I'll give you all the gist. I've seen all your questions concerning the hair transplant. Don't worry. Um, I'm going to answer all of them and I'll show you some behind the scene exclusive videos and pictures. She, she, why, why are you saying what's it? You know I'm not really in support of this thing. I don't know. I don't know what her problem is. So my wife was not in support of my hair transplant. So right from day one, she's been saying, hmm, hmm, hmm. But in guess fact, what? Those of you getting motivated by how <laughs> transplant you have to tighten your like your belt i mean double double because when you see the videos behind the scenes Listen, guys. It's not for the week. It's That's not that bad. Don't mind. Ignore her. It's ignore her. The ignore her. It's, it's not that bad. For me, what I always say is that no pain, no gain. No guts, no glory. If you want the best, you have to be willing to go through pain. Okay? No pain, no joy. So don't worry about that. No, don't mind her. I'll show you the videos. It's not that bad. Okay? But um, so far, so good. The journey. I'm in my third month now, and um, it's been fantastic. The you know the process is quite slow, which is supposed to be so, but it's definitely um, progressive. It's we're getting somewhere, so it's slow and steady, but definitely progressive. So I'll share with you what all that happened in Turkey and. You tell the them about the viewers discretion we are putting all those don't worry, because don't they are worry. not nice things. <laughs> don't worry about that. So <laughs> yeah, I came back from Turkey and then um, you know we just jumped on set. I've been working and stuff like that. What have you been up to apart from you know since we got back from Dubai? I wasn't been working. I mean, trying to make some small coins in my pocket. In addition <laughs> okay. to yours. All right, cool. But cool. mine is for my pocket. Yours is for us. Mine is mine is for us, yeah, but yours is for pocket. your pocket. Yeah. Okay, you heard that. We hear you. All right, cool. So, um, on today's episode, guys, we want to share with you the few things that we've learned, right? Yeah. Um, um, in our journey so far. So, wow. so it's been nine months. It's already. been almost there. Nine months, I think. Yeah, nine months because yeah, first of April. Yeah, nine months. It's been nine months. Yeah, there. So, first January will be ten months. February first will be eleven months. March first will be twelve months. So, no, eight months. Eight. Eight months, so eight months. So we're eight months into our marital journey and it's been an amazing trip so far. We're gonna share with you a few of the lessons that we have learned in our journey so far. Now, number one for me, so we'll take turns. Um, number one for me is putting God first in everything we do. So guys, um, I can't even overemphasize this. I can't say this even in any other way, but trust me, God is key. I know it sounds cliche, but God is key in keeping your marriage intact at all times so in whatever we do we try to put god first we pray we pray as we pray we pray like crazy we pray like our lives depended on it and of course our lives yeah, depend on it, on it. so like, like our lives depend yes. on it so and that is one of the things that has you know helped us maintain sanity through it all yeah. and um, number two mm, i think um, in addition to the religion sharing the same household fit i mean it makes things quite easier because yeah. it's not like yeah. one person will be praying and that, that yeah, person has to go to the else. mosque or i yeah. mean same yeah. fit yeah. Yeah. makes things yeah. easier so yeah not... and then and then and then and then what again certain boundaries certain boundaries like um not having mutual friends in laws too i mean you know um, there are points where some issues pop up and you think you have to call your mother or your father to come and you know intervene yes 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 but in in some cases too, you'll be like no if you keep calling them all the time they even get tired of us mm. so yes yeah. so we settle some of the issues on our own we don't even call we haven't it's called. not some oh we won't call we yeah. won't call yes yeah this guy this okay. guy pa this guy this <laughs> one here this one here before you think you see all the brighter side of him. Let me tell you some of the annoying aspects of him. He's very, very, very annoying. And you need, like I mean, like a very, very big heart to contain him because he can tease you, tease, 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 <laughs> and you will cry. <laughs> so you have to get used to him. Guys, don't mind him. Let me say don't, my own. Don't be say, let me say my own. Let me say yeah. my own. <laughs> he will tease you 
And when you get bored, he be the same person when he sit down and say that, hey, into bon sam no one need you to say, hey, my bon sam will you to go. So yes, like I said, my second point is actually about boundaries. Mm. Boundaries about setting emails, boundaries, yes, about family, friends, families, yes. and family members and friends. Yes. And the good thing working for us about these boundaries is, um, I mean, especially about friends. We are all not having mutual friends because we don't want to hear different stories. From sometimes I can be home and then someone will call. I mean, where are you? I've seen your husband. I'll be like, okay, I'm aware where he is. But imagine we entertaining those people, those news. I mean, like. You know what? Yeah, brain. yeah, yeah. So not sharing mutual friends yeah. is definitely something that has kept us key. But I mean, it doesn't mean that married couples shouldn't have mutual friends. It's just yeah, in our case. I mean, if yeah. you decide, even if you have mutual friends, I feel like there has to be boundaries there's so that a there's a limit everything. to everything. So that um, you know, so drawing boundaries in such a way that those friends cannot exactly uh, overstep um, overstep yeah. certain yeah. things. Or yeah, exactly. Number three, um, I would say what else? I would say. Um, um, and then discussing everything, everything, discussing everything and sharing ideas on every decision that we make. Um, before I take a step on anything, I would run it by my wife and then, you know, if she approves of it because she takes all the big decisions and trust me, I take the small decisions but there's barely any small decision <laughs> since we've been married. She's all Even the, the little ones. <laughs> there's barely no small <laughs> yes. decision because she takes all the decisions. So, um, uh, yeah, so yeah, definitely discussing and um, and being on the same page before we take a step. Mm, and since we are on a journey, we also talk about parenting. I mean, we talk about parenting, planning. Yeah. Planning, planning is very key. So one of the things that I feel people don't do in this part of the world that affects them. I, mean, I get it. Sometimes people say that it's God that takes care of kids. But guys, okay? if I tell you, you also have to plan because heaven helps those who help themselves, mm -hmm. right? So before heaven helps you or God helps you, I feel like you should put certain things in place and you also have to be ready and prepared. Um, so planning our lives and planning our future is something that we do on a regular and I feel like that is going to give us, or that is not going to give us, but it's already giving us clarity on what the future is going to be like, yeah. right? Yeah. Because if you if you fail to plan, then definitely you plan to fail. Mm -hmm. So we're planning, obviously, when we start having our mini me's, and um, when obviously think uh, the family gets bigger, how things yeah. are going to be, and share the dynamics and all that, share responsibilities and all that. It's very important that you discuss these things. And um, sometimes people shy away from these conversations. And when the day finally comes, then they find themselves hitting their heads against the wall. So um, deliberating and discussing all the time is one of the things that we do that helps us. Mm -hmm. And then the hotels, income. I mean income like money yeah but income like I said, Harold's money is our money but my money is my money and i repeat again so what works for you it might not work for us you want us to go astray on this yeah. i mean i have what, witnesses here yeah what works for you what works for us might not exactly work for you because I feel like everybody and the way they want to do, they handle their finances. Yeah. There are some couples that you choose to do, like, you know, keep separate, like, you know, your money is your money, my money is my money, and all that. But whichever works for you, please go with it, okay? But whatever whatever the case is, make sure you're discussing it with your partner and make sure that you both are on the and same page. his money is our money too, because he's always <laughs> you will not stop talking about higher, it. higher budget. Uh, he's always on what the you higher budget. So the fact that I'm on the higher budget, can you budget? the fact that I'm on the higher budget should mean it's actually why, why it's actually the main reason why you should. <laughs> that's that's, why, that's even the more reason why your money that. should be our money because I'm on the higher budget, <laughs> right? Okay, cool. And um, apart from that, what else? Um, Mm. What else? What else? What else? So what else? What else? What else? What else? Boundaries. What else? I mean, influences. Respect. 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 Yeah, respect respect respecting each other, each other yeah. um, is one of the things that we consider. Um, very highly, you yeah. know, respecting each other. If you respect your spouse, there are certain things that you wouldn't do to hurt them or, you know, to spite them. So respect is one of the things that we maintain in our relationship. Regardless of how much um, she pushes me or I push her, there's definitely limits to how we react because of the respect we have for each other. And then your energies do have to match in a way. I yeah. mean, you have yeah. to know who you're having that bond with. Like I always say, you have to marry your friend. Mm. Yes, with that, you all know your weaknesses and strengths. There's nothing like a surprise any other day. Mm. You're all used to the old. You're used yes. to you. You're used yes. to you. You're used to yes. each other. Yes. yes. 
we are used to each other and then transparency transparency is also another point so um transparency obviously being very open about things with your partner is very key i know sometimes it can be very hard because you do certain things that you don't want your partner to know about but i feel like as much as hard as it can be try because the more you open up to your partner uh, the more your partner gets to know about your life and your ins and your out it makes them easier easier to trust you and then also there is nothing that they can they can find out elsewhere i mean there's nothing okay. new anyway there's nothing new anywhere because you've opened up um, to your partner and she knows your your ins and your outs so transparency is very key when that happens there's really nothing to hide and it's not like you know their home doesn't become like a place um, of eggshells that you have to walk on yeah. uh, so i think these are the few things that we have learned or these are the few things that we practice in our yeah. And our marriage that is helping us so far. Um, feel free to let us know what you think about these points in the comment section, and we'll be we'll be more than happy to read from you. It's been a while since we heard from there, right? 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 Mm -hmm. right, right. Yeah, we promise to be consistent. We we'll promise I mean, to be consistent yes. this time out. Trust me, this year has been yearing, <laughs> but definitely uh, we are settling down now, and um, we're definitely going to be churning out some very in exciting and um, lovely comment for you. What? Stop it. Get some help. The, we are definitely settling now and we are going to be churning out some very exciting and interesting comments. <laughs> we are definitely settling. You can do it! We are settling down now. Please, you are putting all this in it. You are not taking anything out of it. This is behind it. We are, we are settling down now. We are settling down now and we are definitely going to be churning out some wonderful and exciting content for you all to enjoy. So um, all you just have to do is to click and like, uh, click button, like. Subscribe, all you just have to do. Share. There you go. Like, subscribe, share this video to all the people that need to hear about us. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be more than happy to read from you. So please drop your comments. Um, give us thumbs up. Give us the love emojis all in the comment section, and uh, we'll be replying you. Let us know what your plans are for this Christmas um, as well. And then you never know. Maybe we should do a meet and greet soon with you guys. You never know. We can plan something like that for either Christmas or the New Year's. What do you think about that? That would be a good idea, right? Where we get to meet um, our lovely audience on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Any final words? Mm, thank them for having us. I mean, we are just happy to be back. We promise to be up. Um, consistent. We won't disappear again. again. <laughs> We and you. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. We're stuck like glue. We're stuck like glue. Yeah. We're stuck like glue. Girl. All right, guys. So enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Harold Amenya. And for my lovely wife, Mrs. Irene. Amenya. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye.